Oh. Are we in? <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm Leah, I'm a personal trainer and an online coach. So I only coach females. I coach a mix of girls in the gym and then also online. So those girls I don't see in the gym, I just do their training and the programming and nutrition for them. Um, but I don't actually see them in person. So I do a mix of both. And I currently work at Pure Gym in Sheffield. So I've been PT now for around about two, three years almost three years this summer and that was following uh, university so I studied sport and exercise science in Sheffield. Uh, I'm not actually from Sheffield so I moved to Sheffield to study at university when I was 18 and I've been there ever since uh, around about six years now I've been in Sheffield. Um, yeah so I lived there and that's where I continued working after I finished studying for my degree. So before, before I moved to Sheffield I used to swim competitively so I grew up swimming from about 12 years old and competed up to around national level and when you get sort of into the high level with that you get some support with strength and conditioning and things like that so that kind of led me into getting more interested in the nutrition and the and the land-based side of um like performance sport basically and then when I kind of grew up doing that it led me to have more of an interest in that side of, of it so from there I went to study at university and obviously three years kind of studying loads of different modules to do with sport and exercise. Uh, so yeah, that's how I kind of became interested in it and started going down this route with my career. So while I was studying at university, I started working in gyms. So I've worked in a few different gyms and doing boot camps and things like that. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of something that I did alongside the uh, studying so at this point I was teaching boot camps and working in gyms alongside studying that was in my final year and by this point I wasn't really swimming that much anymore um, because like the job side of it had picked up a lot more and I was working in various gyms and kind of teaching classes and then from there I just got people kind of asked me about coaching and it just kind of happened really like that sounds really weird and I know most people are like I know I want to do this specific job but this just happened and I started doing it at a gym uh, nearby and it kind of grew from there so I was teaching loads of classes uh, and I started picking up clients in this gym that I was based at until um, I had kind of a full-time job doing that and from there it's just really grown so I've worked at a couple of gyms since that first gym that I worked at uh, kind of building it up and moving to different gyms and trying new things out at the minute I'm based at a gym where I coach some girls and then like I said some girls were online so that's how I kind of got into the coaching side of it and the PT side of it and along the way I've done quite a lot of studying so with my with my um, course at university and then with the swimming kind of before that that knowledge kind of helped as well and then obviously teaching the classes and working in different gyms and getting loads of different experience so that's how I got into the coaching side of it and then also just studying alongside it so I I'm doing a nutrition course as well, which I'm about halfway through now. So doing like loads of different bits and bobs just to help me become a better coach as well and to make sure that I can help uh, plenty of other girls along their journey as well. So that's how I kind of got into everything, basically. So the year before last, I competed in bodybuilding in toned figure with PCA uh, and I won my show, which was absolutely amazing. So... Yeah, I didn't actually go to finals because I competed early on in the year and then started prepping for the finals and just decided it wasn't for me that year. I'd already done a really tough prep and I didn't want to go into another prep. So that was in, where are we now? That was in 2018. So last year I had a year of competing um, and went through like an off season and my plan is to compete again towards the end of this year, hopefully, if everything goes back to normal. So I'm actually going to be starting my prep in around about two weeks time which is why I wanted to start this because I wanted to document my prep um and like the way I'm going to be training and the changes so I thought it would be really useful for some of the people maybe so that's why I kind of started this to document that all that all all of that <laughs> I can't even speak to document that <laughs> oh so there'll be the posing, um, obviously the nutrition side of it, so like the meal prep, the cardio, the training. Did I already say that? 
so yeah all of that will get documented and like how i'm feeling and everything like that and then the show day which will be absolutely amazing if it all goes ahead hopefully so yeah my plan is to kind of document all that to give people an insight into how it works um so this will be my second year competing and these will be um my so i did two shows in 2018 so these will be coming up like my third show so i'm still pretty new to it compared to a lot of people uh but yeah so i'll be documenting that and hopefully that will be something really interesting to follow so that's the reason that I kind of started this up but that's just a little bit of an insight into my background and how I got into this um into coaching and helping other people so my goal through life is to just help as many girls as I can so I basically want to help women overcome dieting and understand that they don't need to fad diet and you don't need to diet excessively to get really good results. So you can you can eat, you can train hard, and you you don't need to follow a specific diet and do loads of cardio to feel and look amazing. So that's my main goal to get to get women to that point and to get confident in themselves because I think everyone deserves to feel like that. So I'm gonna be doing these every Friday, they all get posted on a weekly basis. And obviously I have my prep starting in a couple of weeks too. And once that gets going, they'll get a lot more interesting because there'll be more stuff going on to talk about. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and there'll be prep ones coming up very soon.